India has 700 plus scheduled tribes. About 9% of our population, that's 10 crore people, come from these tribes. There are tribes in pretty much every state in India, even though in large parts of the Northeast, they are the predominant percentage. We've had these conversations when India got its first woman tribal president in President Draupadi Murbu. Now here's another chance because today, which is known as Jharkhand Foundation Day, also the anniversary of one of the most preeminent tribal leaders, Birsa Munda, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has launched the Pradhan Mantri Particularly Vulnerable Tribal Goods, PVTG, development mission. 24,000 crore rupees is being earmarked to benefit 75 of these PVTGs in 18 states and union territories. This will target 22,500 villages in 2,220 districts. The target areas will include safe housing, clean drinking water, accessibility to sanitation, education, health, nutrition, road and telecom connectivity especially. They will be implemented through nine nodal ministries and their welfare schemes. Saturation coverage is to be guaranteed for the Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana for these particular tribal communities. Sickle cell disease elimination which particularly affects tribal groups especially in central India. The elimination of TB tuberculosis, 100% immunization of all children, the PM Matru Vandana Yojana, the Surakshit Mantitrava Yojana, PM Poshan Yojana and PM Jan Dhan Yojana, saturation which means that in these 22,500 villages, the people belonging to these 75 particularly vulnerable tribal groups will all come under this implementation of this particular scheme. As direct and as practical as it gets. Now, the question then of course is not whether this is a good, bad, ugly, it's obviously a good thing to do, it's a great idea. The question then is how quickly can you do it, how most efficiently can you do it. So let's open up this conversation. Joining us on the broadcast is Sandeep Agarwal. He is an executive committee member of PhDCCI. Professor Kasi Iswarappa is joining us. Uh, he's a tribal affairs expert. Pratiksha Patnayak, who runs the famous Millet Cafe in Raigarh in Chhattisgarh, is from a tribal community uh, background herself, is joining us on the broadcast. And Dr. Neil Ratan Shende, uh, he uh, runs an enterprise called EAGL, which is working with farmers and tribal groups in Maharashtra, joining us on the broadcast. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, let me start with you first. Now, when we are targeting development schemes to most vulnerable groups, and in this case, 75 particularly vulnerable tribal groups have been isolated. What are we looking to achieve here? Are we looking to achieve the basics of human livelihood? Or are we looking to achieve further empowerment? Because if you improve somebody's health, you improve their nutrition, you improve their access to education, they achieve lifelong empowerment. Actually, we should be looking at, and we are looking at all of these. So most important for the tribal groups is basic nutrition today. But that is what we are looking for, the immediate impact. But as we know that the nutrition of a child makes his mind grow better and the health of the child also becomes better when the mother has better nutrition when the child while growing has better nutrition and so therefore the development of a state of a location of an area or of a people will only happen if we give them enough facilities to first come up to a level you cannot run with the hair you have to become a hair before you can run with them so yes sometimes 
we also feel bad when the people who have everything but also have better marks better capabilities are disregarded for those or for jobs or for uh, you know any benefit schemes of the government but then they we do have an advantage which these tribal people have never have had okay they have only and only being exploited for thousands and thousands of years okay by all so, the rulers so, so, of so the forget countries. so forget you know the, the the quota debate which is separate and the concept of privilege we're not even talking about privilege here. we're talking about basics uh, sickle cell anemia ladies and gentlemen uh, it's it's a it's a, it's a genetic uh, uh, disorder that happens uh, which is debilitating uh, tuberculosis uh, immunization uh, nutrition so let me let's get an understanding have we understood the problems well enough to do something about it professor iswarappa have we at least applied our minds to understand the basic level of pop, of problems so that we can solve things from the ground up rather than the top down yes uh, good evening everybody uh, yes because over a period of time uh, i can say the government um uh, time and again has initiated number of uh, programs to uplift uh, the vulnerable groups of india especially uh, what we are calling now pvtgs as you mentioned in your introductory note there are 75 tribal groups such groups in india spreading across 18 states and one union territory um, and this mission uh, uh, starting of a mission is a good initiative um, uh, though uh, Uh, um, there are uh, see how how you are initiating is also important uh, not just um, announcements but but at the grassroots level if you see because um, we are celebrating uh, azadi azadi ka amrut mahotsav uh, the tribes um, um, especially the uh, pvtgs uh, if you see because where the the university i am located our university is located in a midst of um, Uh, tribal uh, central india uh, amarkantak indira gandhi national tribal university uh, the the purpose of this university is also to help uh, these groups uh, to to have you know to access to education and as the mission uh, stated today uh, uh, um, uh, to provide you know basic communities to all these communities and especially the communication facilities roads safe drinking water housing and all that so uh, uh, still because uh, still uh, the the mainstream uh, uh, india still uh, uh, like media as it, it's a good initiative that you know you have initiated this discussion uh, because uh, important points uh, here about these groups so their uh, their livelihoods have been hampered because of the the developmental initiatives mm -hmm. that uh, yes so because of them because you see well, these vulnerable people who are in the forest region a majority of them for a long time and the government has initiated a lot of uh, uh, see when 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 uh, resettlement is happening um, see go, see intention of the government is very good but at the at the grassroots level implementation there is a problem uh, um, since the beginning because there are number yes. of program uh, number of programs which are very good initiatives from the government side but but at the at the at the implementation level we are facing a problem okay so the the question of course is have we reached a country that is able to implement what is being announced uh, many people would suggest that yes that is the case that in many schemes including pm avas yojana the har har ghal jal yojana that we are reaching saturation point saturation means 100% 100% not we have heard 10% 20% 30% another 5 lakh 10 lakh everybody has got this so let me open up that question with uh, somebody uh, uh, who's an entrepreneur uh, and a tribal entrepreneur at that pratiksha patnayak uh, pratiksha patnayak ladies and gentlemen has been referred to in pm modi's uh, man ki baat uh, we've interviewed her before pratiksha when it comes to specifically targeting tribal development one of course is to have leadership and now we have a president who's who comes from a tribal community but the other is translating development in the ground do you see commitment happening at an all india level to get it done aapko commitment dikh rahi hai yes good evening everybody um uh, uh, 
सो यस सर कैन आई कैन यू प्लीज रिपीट द क्वेश्चन आप आई डू यू सी कमिटमेंट दैट द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज कमिटेड दैट वो दे आर शोइंग दैट ये अब करना है ये सिर्फ हवा में ये सिर्फ वादा नहीं है दिस इज समथिंग दैट दे एक्चुअली गोट कम एंड एग्जीक्यूट uh so can i give the answer in yeah yeah please, please be wherever you absolutely be comfortable thank you sir uh so uh agar hum travel area ki baat kare to aaj ke date pe bhi aise kai jagah hai jahan pe wo sari facilities nahi hai but uh, it is not like that ki unhone 100% ya matlab pura complete nahi kiya hai means unko dheere dheere wo facilities unko bhi mil rahi hai but uh, jitna unko uh, in the era of 2023 और हम ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ सेंचुरी में जो हम रह रहे हैं उनको जितना मिलना चाहिए वो आज के डेट पे वो उन्हें वो फैसिलिटी अभी मिली नहीं है वो काफ़ी पीछे हैं उस चीज़ों से अभी हम बहुत आगे बढ़ चुके हैं हमारी जो एरा है वो काफ़ी आगे बढ़ चुकी है पर जो अभी ट्राइबल एरिया के लोग हैं वो भी काफ़ी पीछे हैं उन चीज़ों को जानने में ओके okay. uh, प्रत्यक्षा जी आप आप ऑफ कोर्स सर रायगढ़ में आप काम करती हैं आपकी आपकी फैमिली कहाँ से है कहाँ कहाँ कौन कौन से रीजन कौन से डिस्ट्रिक्ट से सर uh, हम रायगढ़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट से हैं वी आर बिलोंगिंग टू रायगढ़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट छत्तीसगढ़ ओके सो आपके And आपके कम्युनिटी में आपको आपके हिसाब से नंबर वन इशू कंसर्न प्रॉब्लम क्या है क्योंकि हम पोषण की बात कर रहे हैं हम टीबी की बात कर रहे हैं हम सिकल सेल एनिमिया की बात कर रहे हैं हम बेसिक्स की बात कर रहे हैं कि घर साफ हो पानी साफ मिले बाथरूम हो एजुकेशन हो पोषण हो एक सड़क अच्छी हो और फोन और इंटरनेट ढंग का हो आपके हिसाब से सबसे बड़ी अभी सबसे बड़ी रिक्वायरमेंट क्या है सर अभी सबसे बड़ी रिक्वायरमेंट ये है कि लोगों की हेल्थ प्लस उनका न्यूट्रिशन एज वेल एज उनका एजुकेशन सर एजुकेशन से ही सारा कुछ होता है अगर लोग समझ ही नहीं पाएंगे इफ दे आर नॉट नोइंग उनको क्या चाहिए डेली नेट पे उन्हें नहीं पता है कि उनको अपना लाइवलीहुड कैसे चलाना है तो आई डोंट थिंक सो कि वो आगे कुछ भी चीज़ों को समझ पाएंगे ओके okay, प्रतीक्षा जी थोड़ा लो अपनी स्टोरी खबर स्टोरी बताइए तो आपने मिलेट कैफे शुरू करा ये आपको कहाँ से आइडिया आया आपने उसके लिए फंडिंग कहाँ से सेव करी आपने कैसे खोला कैसे चलाया आप लोगों को अब 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 यू नो आप लोग लोगों को एम्प्लॉयमेंट आप देते हो आपकी जर्नी क्या थी आ, सर हमारी जर्नी ऐसी रही कि हमारा जो जिला प्रशासन है रायगढ़ छत्तीसगढ़ का उन्होंने एस होते हैं सर हमारे जो उन्होंने महिलाओं को आगे बढ़ाने के लिए आज के डेट पे हर किसी को सेल्फ इंडिपेंडेंट होना काफ़ी ज़रूरी है और सर जो महिलाएं हैं जो पिछड़े वर्ग से आ, वर्ग से आती हैं वो अपने लाइवलीहुड को चलाने के लिए या कैसे आगे आना है लोगों के सामने कैसे रिप्रेजेंट करना है अपने आप को ये उन्हें सीखने में अब दिक्कत जाती है तो जो हमारे जिला प्रशासन है उन्होंने देखा कि महिलाएं जो हैं जो समूह की महिलाएं हैं वो काफ़ी अच्छा कार्य कर रही हैं तो उन्होंने उन्हें एक उन्होंने उन्हें नया पहचान दिलाने के लिए एक नया उन्हें मोटिवेट करने के लिए उन्होंने हमारे जिला प्रशासन ने हमारे एस एस जी महिलाओं को चुना और उन्हें मिलेट्स कैफे जो कि अपने आप में एक अनोखा कैफे है जहाँ हम मिलेट्स से बनी चीज़ों को सर्व कर रहे हैं उन्होंने इसे कहा कि आप इसे संचालित करिए सर टी आर आई एफ महिला एवं बाल विकास और जिला प्रशासन का सहयोग रहा जिन्होंने हमें ये मिलेट्स कैफे दिया और आ, हमें आ, आपके, कहा कि आपके सक्सेस को आपको सक्सेस को देख के ऐसे कोई है आपके परिवार में या कोई दोस्त इनको सहानुभूति आई हो कि दीदी देखिए आप 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 इस्टेब्लिश हो गई हैं आपने कैफे शुरू कर दिया अब अब सब लोग आपके इंटरव्यू कर रहे हैं सब लोग आप, आपकी आपकी जर्नी को कॉपी करना चाहते हैं क्या आपने देखा है कि इसके बाद और लोग भी आगे बढ़ के अब ऑन्टरप्रनोर बन रहे हैं यस सर डेफिनेटली ये सारी चीज़ें हुई हैं हमारे साथ uh, जब हम ये कैफे हमने जब इनिशिएटिव ये लिया जब हमने तो भी काफ़ी न्यू था तब लोगों को ये था कि ये कर पाएंगे नहीं कर पाएंगे ये कैसा होगा इनका आउटपुट कैसा आएगा मीन्स काफ़ी लोगों का ये था कि नहीं चल पाएगा कैफे काफ़ी न्यू है यूनिक है नहीं हो पाएगा बट जब आज वो हमारी सक्सेस देखते हैं जब हमारे माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने मन की बात में इसका उल्लेख किया और आज जब हम एक हमारी अलग पहचान है रायगढ़ छत्तीसगढ़ की एक अलग पहचान है पूरे इंडिया में तो लोग काफ़ी हमारी सराहना yes. करते हैं सर और आज के डेट पे काफ़ी महिलाएं ऐसी हैं जो हमको देख के मोटिवेट हो रही हैं यस एब्सोल्युटली एंड एंड दैट्स दैट्स व्हाट वी मेनी से होल ऑफ नेशन अप्रोच राइट विच विच वर्क डॉक्टर शंडे इन टू दिस कॉन्वेशन डॉक्टर शंडे कैन यू टेल एस अबाउट ए जी एल बिफोर आई आस्क यू अबाउट द लार्जेस्ट स्कीम प्लीज वॉट 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 आर यू डूइंग टू वर्क ऑन ऑन ट्राइबल एम्पावरमेंट Uh, well uh, 
Eagle is a social enterprise which has been working with the focus on eradication of poverty. So our uh, primary job is how do you address the structural issues that tribals are confronting. Mm -hmm. One of the uh, one of the challenges that this community is facing is we have failed to understand the problems that tribal communities are undergoing and uh, th therefore the kind of approach uh, government has or a lot of multi a lot of ngos have they lack the the approach which addresses the structural issues that community faces okay so, so we we've, we've identified a few sir and uh, so uh, exactly. nu nu nutrition uh, jan dhan which which basically means financial inclusion bank accounts etc uh, yeah. jan arogya which means uh, health insurance 100% immunization, uh, we're talking about road connectivity, basic telephony, so you need internet and be able to make a phone call. Uh, and we're talking about improving access, access to education, a, a safe housing, clean water and sanitation. It all sounds rather basic. Have we hit the nail on the head, sir? This is where we need to focus on. Uh, well, uh, these are very basic infrastructural requirements that any community should have. Mm -hmm. But one of the important thing that is missing in the approach that that uh, we have is what are the base. I mean, these are just uh, superficial interventions. Uh, if uh, we do not really address the core structural problems that tribal community faces, some, for example. Uh, the control over the, the productive resources, for example, Jal Jungle Jameen, livelihood, livelihood based on Jal Jungle Jameen has to be the prime focus of the of the development. But do we really get to see that kind of stuff, focused approach? I mean, do do tribal do really have the control over the agricultural based and forest? Okay, so you you asked a very important okay. question. Is there do we need Dr. Shinde to be seriously looking? at how we consider private ownership, property ownership in tribal areas. Because in the in the realm of protecting tribal areas, we are also denying them property rights and development and other things. You are right. I mean, uh, excluding tribal communities is not the solution. Mainstreamizing them would be the solution and giving them digni their due dignity back would be the would be the way out to deal with the tribal situations in India. For example, in in the in the midst of globalization, if tribals are not able to sell off their agriculture and forest-based resources into the open market at competitive rate, and they continue to be uh, in the in the exploitation uh, at the local level, I mean they are okay. not bound to come okay. out. Okay, you of raised a very interesting point. So let me let me let me pick this up with Pratiksha. Pratiksha ji, आपके हिसाब से आज का जो जो modern day tribal नौजवान लोग हैं क्योंकि हम देश में चर्चा ये करते हैं कि देखिए ट्राइबल लोगों का कल्चर लैंग्वेज हमने प्रिजर्व करना है तो दाखिल अंदाजी ना करें ठीक है और जो कि उनको डेवलपमेंट ना दें क्योंकि द डेवलपमेंट ही दखल अंदाजी हो जाएगी आज का ट्राइबल नौजवान वो क्या चाहते हैं उनको क्या घर चाहिए गाड़ी चाहिए सड़क चाहिए या उनके लिए प्रायोरिटी है कि देखिए हमें अपनी आइडेंटिटी कल्चरल आइडेंटिटी हमें हमें आ, हमें मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट है और डेवलपमेंट से हमारी हमारी कल्चरल आइडेंटिटी पे डैमेज पड़ सकता है अभी चर्चा क्या चल रही है क्या प्रायोरिटी क्या है आ, सर ये बात कई हद तक सही है कि हमारे जो कल्चर है जो ट्राइबल कल्चर है उनको उससे हमको कंजर्व करके रखना है बट सर ऐसा हमको ऐसा नहीं है कि यूथ में क्यों नहीं डेवलपमेंट नहीं चाहिए सर आज के डेट पे डेवलपमेंट हर किसी को चाहिए हर ट्राइब को चाहिए हर हर सोसाइटी को चाहिए बट ये है कि सर हम जो भी हमारा कल्चर है जो भी ट्राइब कल्चर है हमारी लैंग्वेजेस हैं हम उनको अपने तक रखें हम उनको अपने में कंजर्व करके रखें एंड प्लस जो डेवलपमेंट है जो गवर्नमेंट के आपके स्कीम है रूल्स हैं वो वो भी हमको मिले बट हम उसके डेवलपमेंट uh, प्लस हमारे कल्चर को हम एक साथ लेके चले ओके okay, क्या आपको लगता है कि इस इस प्रधानमंत्री के अंदर नरेंद्र मोदी ने जो वादे किए हैं वो निभाएंगे क्या आपको लगता है कि वो निभा रहे हैं अभी तक सर uh, कहीं हद तक मुझे लगता है कि वो उन्होंने निभाया है और हमें उम्मीद है सर कि वो आगे भी निभाएंगे एंड सर हम ये कह सकते हैं कि uh, जो भी माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने जो अभी जो ट्राइब के लिए काम कर रहे हैं या जो स्कीम है वो सर 
अगर एक सही हाथ में जाए अगर जो हमें जो भी स्कीम है अगर वो सर हमें मतलब ट्राइब को अगर प्रॉपर मिलेगा तो सर उसका बेनिफिट है अदरवाइज उस चीज का बेनिफिट नहीं है ट्रांसलेशन एवरीबडी अग्रीज विद यू संदीप जी हैव वी क्रिएटेड नाउ बोथ द राइट मोमेंटम Uh, in terms of the conversation because the prime minister is constantly talking about about the tribes uh, we've had a, a species of conversation when president murmu took over uh, now yet again uh, there are repeated speeches talking and targeting and a concrete plan of action now is there's never a perfect plan but at least a very clear and concrete plan of action with a dedicated budget has been put aside ministers have been tasked are we heading in the right direction with the right momentum Pretty sure when the prime minister himself is looking into this issue, I am pretty sure that this is going to happen. So wherever our prime minister gets into doing something, be it water, be it sanitation, be it uh, direct benefit transfer, be it education, be it anything, he has relentlessly made his people work on it and get results. And with our president being from the tribal community i believe the current uh, government will ensure that what has been only thought of is actually implemented and we are pretty sure that the short medium and the long term goals in making the tribal people equal to the rest of india are actually achieved okay let me take a last word from dr shende dr shende i know we have to start at the basics because that's where we are currently and there's no no point being naive and thinking ke bhi sirf badi cheezon ke baat karo aur you know aur bijli bijli pani bhul jao so when it comes to the basic if we manage within a within a reasonable span of time a reasonable span of time a year or two years yeah if we manage to get saturation on these points which means on nutrition on drinking water on a toilet on access to education uh, on a, on an internet connection on a, on a mobile phone if we can achieve saturation here would that be a significant achievement sir yeah of course i mean uh, uh, this would not have come i mean i mean 148 birth anniversary of birsa munda ji today so this is a very timely declaration but one has to really look at the kind of political will uh, it it depends on the kind of execution and administrative machinery that yeah. uh, tribe ministry of tribal affair has one of the uh, lacuna that government might have in dealing and uh, meeting its commitment would be the kind lack of uh, uh, innovation in implementing the programs through itdp and they really do not have their own skilled human resources so they definitely okay. need to identify so so no the, the nodal ministries have given been given the target so it's just not just the ministry of Tri- tribal affairs uh, if you are the if you are the jal shakti ministry is your job to make sure uh, that water is being provided so we yeah. okay so now couple of good things have happened number one we have an increasing level in fact at the highest level this is the national media prime minister president at the highest levels we are discussing tribal affairs okay that's a great thing because it keeps constant spotlight on what's being done number 2 there is a clear demonstrable plan plan of action it's not just a it's just not a hawa mein this is what we are going to do under these schemes with this much resources in these particular areas in these district with these types it's a very clear plan once so you have a clear plan you can go back and check on what you've succeeded or not succeeded so you're not talking about general generalisms that's excellent so we are heading in the right direction i know it seems almost paltry that we are still talking about a toilet but yes in india we've been talking about toilets and we built a few crore of them in the last one uh, last uh, few years hopefully we can do that also i thank my guests for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon